Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how you can make a third analysis in NS project software. In order to do that, I prepared an example project you see here and I entered some data to NS project as you see as names and predecessors actually i haven't entered any duration yet but it automatically creates duration also you have to uh, carry about the task mode is auto schedule you see here okay yes uh, as you know in order to make third analysis, we should we uh, we have to have three times, which are optimistic time, most likely time, and pessimistic time. And uh, also, we uh, have to calculate expected time and standard deviation. Okay. So now let's define these uh, durations in order to define these durations you see here add new column we click on the arrow and type duration and duration one i have to add five to five columns five why five because one for optimistic time one for most likely time one for pessimistic time one for x one for expected time and one column for standard deviation okay duration one and the other one is duration two and Duration three, duration four, and duration five. And now let's rename them. In order to rename, uh, we right click here, or you can go to Format, Menu, and Custom Fields. Okay, custom fields, just simply rename them. Duration one, let's make it optimistic time. Okay, duration, sorry, duration two is most likely time most likely time okay and just a moment okay um. Yes, let's come here. As I showed, you should change all names. Optimistic time, most likely time, pessimistic time, expected time, and standard deviation. Now, you have changed names. The other thing we should do is we have to define formula to x for expected time and standard deviation as you know in third analysis we use beta distribution and we can we can use this formula to calculate expected time and this formula to calculate the standard deviation let's define these formulas Okay, in order to define these formulas, just select the expected time from 
custom fields and click on this button and enter the second formula. Now we enter the duration. Let's do it again. Again, you can do it uh, just simply write the duration names as uh, as you see here, or you can do it by selecting from the drop down list. How, for example, our formula is our formula is a times 4m, a plus 4 times m plus b by 6. A stands for optimistic time, M stands for most likely time, and B stands for pessimistic time. Okay. Okay. Bracket. Optimistic. Uh, select from here, select field, click on field and custom duration and select optimistic time. <coughs> Plus from keyboard press four times most likely time most likely time plus <clears throat> pessimistic time close the brackets divided by six okay you can Define this formula as I show here. Click OK. And for standard deviation, we have to define formula, and I defined it before. Click OK. Now, uh, the other thing we should do is to enter the optimistic most likely and pessimistic time data to the project and from the excel sheet we can simply copy from here and then paste here okay as you see ms project automatically calculated the expected time and standard deviation yes as you see, the critical critical activities shown as red. Okay, critical activities are shown as red. The import analysis we have to calculate expected time for project also. To do that, go to view. And then group activities uh, by critical. But first, as you remember, I just in the uh, beginning, I just defined as uh, the tasks before the last uh, step. We come here and Add a new task. Sorry. Add a new task here and use it auto auto and name it project. Okay. And then select <coughs> below ones and Indeed, yeah. okay. As you see, this is the this is the project summary duration. After this step, let's continue from here. Okay. The thing we should do now is group them uh, if they are critical or not, whether they are critical or not. Okay. As you see here, the critical ones are grouped here, non-critical ones are grouped here. The thing we should calculate is to sum of the expected time and sum of the standard deviation in order to calculate the project expected 
finish time and standard deviation. We can do that by some by uh, summation of these values, or we can do it in MS project automatically. I will show it how we do this automatically. Again, we come here and right click and custom fields, and here, as you see, calculation for task and group summary roles. Just choose the roll up and the sum from the uh, drop down list and click OK. As you see, the summary <coughs> information uh, is shown here now, and we do same thing here custom fields, <coughs> roll up, and sum. <coughs> okay. As you see, we enter the optimistic time, most likely time, and pessimistic time. We calculated, we have calculated expected time and standard deviation, and then we group uh, tasks and we get the critical ones, some of the critical ones, and we and now we have calculated the expected time of this project and standard deviation of uh, this project uh, this project duration okay i i hope this uh, video helps you okay thank you